With all this recent information coming out about Panerai's PAM01111 chronographs, you gotta ask yourself, is Panerai even trying at this point? It is! 5.13 p.m. Let's get down to business. <laughs> So I've got to thank one of my favorite Instagram accounts, Periscope. Now, Jose over at Periscope is incredibly knowledgeable. He knows a ton about old school Panerai, and I got to thank him for spearheading this little expose. So what did Periscope uncover? Well, the PAM01111 and its very impressive P9200 in-house caliber isn't really in-house at all. God, it's like, it's like we've seen this before. You know, Hublot made a huge deal about their in-house Hub 4100 caliber. That ended up just being mostly ETA. And then Tag Heuer with their 1887 in-house caliber. Remember that? Oh my God, it's in-house. This chronograph, it's going to be so impressive. Well, it is impressive, but it's a Seiko. I'm not kidding, guys. I made a whole episode talking about this. Tag Heuer literally tried to pass off a Seiko chronograph movement as in-house. But all of this has led us here, to the PAM01111. Now guys, I hate harping on Panerai. You know, I own a Panerai, a PAM0111. I love that Luminor Marina. Now, we're not talking about that. We're talking about these new chronographs. And I've said it before, I'll probably never buy a current Panerai because they're just having issue after issue after issue. They're ceramic breaks left and right. They're having huge issues identifying counterfeits. Their Instagram doesn't know what's going on and posts counterfeits. And we all know they've been sloppy about movements. I mean, all you have to do is Google Panerai Brooklyn Bridge. But on April 7th, the orological powerhouse Hodinkee did a little written review about the Panerai Luminor Chronos. And of course, they had to mention the new P9200 caliber. Now this right here is taken directly from that Hodinkee written review. Though chronographs are not likely the first thing that comes to mind when you think Panerai, the company actually has quite a bit of experience here. There are of course the Mare Nostrum watches, and somewhat more recently, there are also the P2004 based examples with 8 day power reserves, which come from the first big move the company made into in-house movement making in the early 2000s. In-house movement making, you say? When you look closer at the numbers on that P9200 movement, those little numbers and letters, oh, in that specific order, it seems to denote something. It seems to indicate a very integral piece of information. And that information would be, uh, it's not in-house at all. This is an ETA movement. All right, those numbers and those letters together mean ETA. That's an ETA movement. In this watch is an ETA movement. How much more clear can I make it? Specifically, an ETA 2892. How could Hodinkee have missed this? Well, to be quite honest, I don't blame them because <clears throat> you know who else missed it? Panerai. That's right, Panerai themselves didn't know exactly which movement they had in one of their own watches. Just take a look at their Instagram. Now, one of the most recent recommendations I gave Panerai is to fire whoever's running the Panerai Instagram account because they are f***ing up. I mean, how many times can you post a counterfeit watch on your own brand's Instagram page? I don't know. But on one of their recent uploads showing the case back of this watch, someone asked, caliber inside, in-house? And Panerai themselves, their verified account, responded, Dear so-and-so, Thank you for your message. In reply to your inquiry, the movement in the Luminor Chrono Luna Rossa, PAM 01303, is an automatic mechanical P9200 caliber in-house. We remain at your full disposal for any further information you should require. Best regards, Panerai. Now, here's the thing. The P9200 in the PAM 01111 and this other uh, Rosa, blah, 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 whatever, not in-house at all. And what's interesting is some people are thinking that they purposefully obscured the case back, like it's a display case back, but it has this stupid wave design kind of obscuring the entirety of the movement. Some people think they did that on purpose so they could get away with calling it in-house 
and hopefully, you know, no one will actually notice it's just a slightly modified ETA. That's right, take a drink every time I say ETA, because I'm gonna say it a lot right now. Actually, don't do that, I cannot condone that. When I say take a drink, I mean take a sip of water. That's right guys, this movement is a chronograph movement, but it's an ETA with a chronograph module added onto it. It is not in-house, no matter how you stretch the definition. But guys, I had a few questions of my own, okay? I can't let all these other people ask the questions and do the research. I gotta do it myself. So, I went to Panerai myself. That's right, I went to Panerai's website and I used their chat function where you can chat to a Panerai sales associate and it even shows you which store you're talking to. And uh, yeah, I, I decided to ask them about this specific movement, this amazingly impressive in-house P9200. So I clicked the chat function, I put in my name as J, I didn't use Jory or the time teller, I just put J, and then a sales associate at a certain store here in the US uh, responded mobily, they said, how may we help you? Is the PAM01111 in-house? Thanks, we're finding a sales associate for you now. This nice sales associate said, hi sir, my name is from Panerai, I see you and Jack were having a consultation previously. The movement within the PAM01111 is in fact in-house. Now, he said that he's seen that I've had a prior consultation because a moment before I tried to chat with him, I tried to chat with another sales associate and the second I posted a picture of the movement, the guy disconnected from me. So let's see if this conversation or consultation goes any better. I'm confused. It seems to be using an ETA 2892 with the chronograph module. Do you have any further info? Then I went ahead and sent him that image of the case back with the nice little circle over those dastardly numbers and letters. Now, he didn't respond right away, so I decided to take it a bit further and I said, if this is the case, which it seems it is, then the movement is not in-house. He finally thought a bit and responded, it uses the P9200 caliber. From what I've been told via official channels, we consider it in-house. Very deliberate verbiage there. We consider it in-house. Interesting. Now guys, coincidentally, uh, at the time of filming right now, it is July 27th, 2021. Hodinkee just edited their uh, initial April 7th expose about these new Panerai Luminor Chronos with the P9200 in-house movement, and they've said, update. Panerai has confirmed these are ETA-based movements. Hmm. Now, I'm not gonna take credit for this update. I don't think me using their chat service online has, you know, gone all the way up to the chain to Panerai headquarters and then it's gone down to Hodinkee and they've edited their stuff. I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think that there has been a big backlash on Instagram with Periscope and other intelligent orologists kind of being like, not in house. So guys, I don't know about you, but I'm sick of Panerai. Okay, now, I wrote to Federico, Federico Talks Watches, during one of his more recent Q&As, and I asked him, uh, where is Panerai gonna be in five to 10 years? Are they gonna be better off, or are they gonna be still pretty crummy? And he had a very good response. He thinks that while they're not what they used to be, they're doing better than they were, and he thinks that they're probably going to be the same, if not a little better. Uh, he might be right, and he's generally just a more knowledgeable person than me, especially uh, when it comes to Panerai, but uh, I beg to differ. I think if this is any example of where Panerai's going, uh, I think, Fed, you might be giving them a little bit too much credit. I still love you, though. So, guys, what do you think of this? I think this is insane, and, uh, yeah, it's, um... Well, it's crazy. This just goes to show you that Panerai really doesn't know or care what products they have in their product line. Now, I don't think the salesperson was purposefully trying to mislead me, but uh, I think they were being a bit curt, a bit defensive. I don't think they like it when the prospective client knows more than them. Uh, and uh, I think that that should change. I think they should be open to learning a bit more. That wasn't some manufactured conversation. I was honestly trying to see what Panerai 
is teaching their salespeople. And Panerai doesn't know or care enough to train their sales associates properly so that their sales associates can get the accurate information to the prospective buyers. I mean, that's a huge deal. These aren't cheap items, guys. These are very expensive products. And if you're going to go use their chat service that is there to give you more information about a potential purchase, then you should be able to trust that service and they should be giving you as accurate information as possible. And by them saying, oh, well, uh, um, this seems manufactured. What, what's the point here? Well, I'm trying to figure it out. Is it in-house or is it not? Because I just showed you it's not. So, yeah. But what do you think of this, guys? Is this uh, kind of shocking or is this kind of par for the course when it comes to Panerai? Leave me that comment. I want to know what you think. And there you have it, guys. I don't know if this is a rant. I don't know what this is, but... It was kind of interesting. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Check out all the affiliate links in the description below. When you click those links, you do help the channel out a bunch. You can join the channel membership. Uh, again, you click that join button next to the subscribe button. You become a certified T3 bot. You can check out my personal website, thetimetellershop.com, where we don't have any of these weird hiccups and misinformation weird things we are as accurate as possible and um yeah when you write to us asking us questions about the products we carry we're going to give you the real information and if you're a gearhead or a petrol head from across the pond you can go ahead and check out my car channel that's right t3 time to drive click the link in the description below and subscribe over there all right guys i will check you on the next one stay happy stay healthy stay blessed I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time, I just tell it.